Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The following video will contain spoilers from the Legends of Tomorrow episode titled The Magnificent Eight. So, spoiler alert. If you don't want anything ruined for you, stop watching now. For everybody else here watching, hey guys, Dave here. And yes, I'm wearing a Punisher skull shirt. But since it, you know, this episode involves gunslinging and I don't have any Wild West cowboy shirts, this is the most appropriate thing I can think of. Not to mention I'm still ticked off about what happened to Laurel on Arrow last episode. So, no Laurel, no Arrow. Anyway. Getting into it here, uh, apparently the crew of the Wave Rider, upon hearing about the Hunters coming to take out Kronos, a.k.a. McRory, a.k.a. Heat Wave, they find out about these things called uh, fragmentations, I believe they're called. Uh, they're fractures, essentially, in time that essentially are a blind spot that make uh, time travelers harder to find them. So, for some reason, there are some spots that are just a little bumpier to see than others. So, we'll see what happens. So they decide to hang out in the Old West for a bit. And, of course, uh, when the uh, t gang starts to go into town, they're doing what they can to try to lay low, but uh, a traditional Western barroom brawl starts up. They're fighting, they're laying into it, and Jonah Hex, of course, is you know, the one that stops it. He calls them out immediately, saying, Okay, yeah, you guys are from out of town, all right. Where are you from, exactly? Or should I say, when you're from? So this surprised the heck out of everybody. I'm like, wait a minute, time travelers? Yeah, yeah he I probably knows you ain't the first time travelers I've met. So, which one of you knows uh, Rip Hunter? So this goes into an interesting past that we did not know. I mean, this whole story was right out of Weird Western Tales, which a lot of stuff of Jonah Hex had actually been in. So, I mean, it's very cool. They've tried to modernize Jonah a few times. I mean, everyone remembers the movie where he had like, the supernatural thing going on there. And one short story arc a while back, he'd actually been sent to the future and trying to deal with things there. Uh, there was a, even another story where there was a woman who was apparently the reincarnation of Jonah. And she, she'd go into a split personality thing where Jonah's personality would come out as well as his skills and stuff and he'd just beat the crap out of somebody, draw guns and lay him down with a southern drawl. So it's kind of weird and this kind of fits in with that. We find out that Rip apparently also actually did have an influence on this uh, small uh, uh, part of history before, had encountered Jonah, which actually that's where he got the name Jonas for his son from. And he didn't want to get involved but he eventually did. We also get Kendra having to deal with a uh, vision of a strange woman that she knew in a past life. She and Sarah go out to kind of find out about more about it after Sarah had a little heart-to-heart -heart with Mick and actually started having a drinking contest before it was ruined. And Sarah seems genuinely happy about being in a simpler time and stuff. And uh, I gotta admit, Katie Lotz is beautiful when she smiles, so, you know, big on that. So, I end up running into her and finding out that this mysterious woman wasn't just someone that Kendra knew in a past life, it was her in a past life. So, surprise. So, when this went uh, to, came out, it looked like the uh, Western self had a lot of things to tell about Kendra as far as for relationships with everyone other than Carter, which always ended in misery and pain and stuff, and very, very sad, I don't know. In any case, it turns out that one of the guys that was killed in the barroom you know, brawl that started all this thing, uh, actually in the poker game that... Uh, when he started to draw on Professor Stein, <laughs> our favorite cold-blooded assassin, Snark, managed to take him out. He was a member of a uh, gang called the Stillwater Gang that they ended up trying to deal with. Uh, Ray became uh, the new sheriff in town. They decided to go take them down. And they actually did raid the, the camp a bit. They did some pretty good you know, things there until, unfortunately, Jax got captured. So in a traditional handoff thing, they got the head of the Stillwater Gang, and then and it looks like it's going to be a you know a, a high f speed draw contest to see uh, who's going to be able to win. The winner takes you know whoever their side is and get them back. So Rip manages to win. Spoiler alert! And uh, Jax is freed, and they're ready to stand up to him, and they end up taking off. And it looks like oh, it's all good. And then here come the frickin' hunters. They've got their high-tech body armor and weaponry, and now the legends decide to go ahead, armor up, get their weaponry, and start sh showing off powers and everything against these guys. Now, I have 
ragged on the fact that these guys have mucked around on time before, and I'm not going to see any end of it anytime soon. But, <laughs> it's kind of funny because it actually parallels something that did happen in a Superboy comic book once. Back in the day, in the Silver Age, apparently uh, Superboy felt like his presence was drawing too much trouble and he was causing so much harm just by being around, so he went back in time to the Old West, and believing that since there was never any mention of Superboy in the past, then he could just go back, blend in, and he wouldn't have to worry about changing history unless he did something really big. Well, his reflexes kicked in. He saved a girl from a runaway stagecoach by flying in, getting her out of there. And he's thinking, wait a minute, did I just change the future? No, it, I, I, it couldn't have. It wasn't reported in the papers. So he, then he started to realize, so instead of being worried about changing the past, that maybe this was supposed to happen. So he just flew off. He eventually also took out an uh, alien who was picking some stuff up in the Wild West, so cowboys and aliens going on there. And the only reason why people didn't report it is because they didn't want to become a laughing stock. So they just kept it to themselves, which apparently that's what happens to this town that they were protecting. They decided it was some weird stuff, but they decided to just keep it themselves. I also kind of like the side note that uh, St that Stein tried to save a young kid uh, who turned out to be H.G. Wells, so that was pretty cool. A little quantum leap nod there, I think. I, I, I kind of like that whole thing about touching on someone like that. So Now that they've been defeated, they find out that this Omega Protocol has been unleashed, so a new hunter, the Pilgrim, a deadly Time Master assassin, is supposed to be going back and taking out all of the members of the Wave Rider crew back when they were younger, so they wouldn't be too dangerous or whatever. We see a fire in a burning building and someone very excitedly watching it, and a girl ready to raise up and cap them. So, that's where it left off for next week's episode, where they get to really screw up the timeline by going back and meeting their past selves to save them before any of this ever happened. Oh. I don't know, but like I said, this is a good weird western tales thing. It, it was definitely enjoyable. Could it have been greater? Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have seen some other past heroes like El Diablo, Cinnamon. Uh, they could have renamed Scalp Hunter, I think. They did so in Justice League Unlimited once. So, um, but yeah, I mean, change things around a little bit. And it would have been nicer to see some more of those, but uh, with the popularity of Jonah Hex, I'm sure we'll get to see more of them in the future. So, well, just would have to hold on and see. But yeah, it was an overall good episode. I'm not normally much into westerns. My favorite western, personally, is the movie Tombstone. So that was, yeah, that was pretty darn enjoyable. But yeah, this was a good episode. I'm looking forward to things getting more into the present slash future time to see what's going to happen. So we'll just have to see what goes on there. So that's my two cents worth. Uh, what do you guys think? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this bad boy around, and uh, let me know what you think. And also stay tuned for my next video. It's uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a theory video, so I'm going to be doing a new theory video about, well, a new cast member coming to Arrow. And I'm not talking about Mr. Terrific. So, catch you guys in a bit. Take care. Until next time. Peace. Yum yum.